what's interesting is that this is uh, this is uh, what's interesting is what has happened uh, with with Ted Cruz with regard to this. Um, so Ted Cruz put out a um, a tweet yesterday um, about this, and the tweet based the tweet read. Um, the Uganda law is horrific and wrong. Any law criminalizing sexuality or imprisoning or imposing the death penalty for, quote, aggravated homosexuality is grotesque and an abomination. All civilized nations should join together in condemning this human rights abuse. And he finished off with the hashtag, hashtag LB, LGBTQ. This is Ted Cruz. <laughs> so first, thumbs up to Ted Cruz. I haven't done that. In like I don't know since since he read out of Atlas Shrugged on the on the on the Senate floor years and years ago, I think that was 2014 or something like that. Um, so wow, Ted Cruz said this. I, I don't know what's happened to Ted, but uh, but good for him. But what is really interesting? I mean, that's interesting that Ted Cruz would stand up for individual rights um, of of gay people. Uh, in Uganda, uh, that is uh, pretty unusual and, and pretty, uh, pretty unexpected, I would say, uh, but good for Ted. Uh, but uh, what was truly, I don't know, informative and indicative is the comment section on Twitter, the response to Ted Cruz's tweet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. His base, people who probably vote for him, voted for him. People in general, you voted for him for, for president, maybe in 2016 in the primary. Fl the right flipped out completely on Ted Cruz. Why do you care about human rights in Uganda? What about the January 6th rioters? Wow. What's wrong with this law? Isn't homosexuality bad? Good for the Ugandans. They finally have the courage to do what we should be doing. Those are the responses. Here's one prominent right-wing evangelical pastor. And I think this is indicative, right? Tell it to God, Ted. And he quotes Leviticus 20.13. If a man lies with another male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon us. And the, uh, and the uh, evangelical goes on to say, was this law God gave to his old covenant people, quote, horrific and wrong? <laughs> yes, it was horrific and wrong. <laughs> Much of what God tells the people to do in the Old Testament is horrific and wrong. It would be cool if people stood up and said that stoning, stoning adulteresses, Wiping out whole peoples, men, women, children, so not a seed among them will remain. And beasts, by the way, beasts as well. Um, yeah, I mean, if you find Ted Cruz's tweet, I'd encourage you to find it and tweet it and retweet it. Look at the comment section. It gives you a flavor for uh, a cross-section of America that is truly scary. If you think woke is scary, you know, and woke is scary, go read. People who follow Ted Cruz, scary on steroids. And it's, it, it doesn't seem to be just a few people. So um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how Ted Cruz positions himself. I mean, this does surprise me how strong his condemnation of this law is, the fact that he chose to comment on it. Uh, and he, I, you know, uh, uh, I think he actually doubled up on it uh, later on. Let me see if I can find that story. I thought there was a, something where he doubled up on it. Um, and the stories are, the stories are, uh, you know, the stories about uh, Ted Cruz's wokeness, right? Uh, Ted Cruz is now, Ted Cruz is now, uh, is now uh, woke because he's defending, uh, individual rights in, uh, in Uganda. Where is, uh, where did I see that? Um, he kind of doubled up on it and followed up on it. Um, 
Yeah, I don't see it, but okay, so be it. Uh, I think if you find it, you'll see him uh, commenting afterwards. Uh, Ted Cruz has been forever a massive disappointment, but good for him. Good for him for standing up uh, regarding this and for uh, standing with individual rights for a change, even if it is in Uganda. Uh, my perspective is it's better than nothing. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.